Hello, this is Ray Garrett, and this is the first video on our series interviewing an agent for hire at Zip Realty. So there's a couple of things that we need to talk about, and these videos are, are going to be formatted in, in certain ways, but in other ways, we are just going to kind of have a conversation about interviewing agents, what an agent really is. And so that's really the first thing that we're going to talk about. We're going to hit on that a little bit during this introductory video. Uh, then we are going to discuss the 10 questions that we ask during an interview. And really, we're going to look at how to structure our interview accordingly. It's going to be kind of like a sales presentation for the most part. But in reality, what we're doing is we're trying to find out what an agent's greatest need is then we're trying to determine whether or not we have a solution for that agent's need. And if we do, we're trying to offer a good product at a good price and hopefully um, share our solution with them and entice them to come sign with the realty if they're a good fit. So in, in that process, what we're going to do is talk about things. But I think the first thing that we need to do is kind of understand what is a real estate agent and why are they talking to us if they are already a real estate agent and they're already working for a real estate broker? So uh, let's tackle that solution first. So really what, what a real estate agent is, is a business owner. A real estate agent has started a business and whether they know it or not, right? So a lot of times they think they're employed by a broker or they might be coming to become employed by Zip Realty, but that, that really isn't the case. They have started a business. And so why did they start a business in the first place? Why did they decide to start a real estate business? Well, if you do a Google search online, why start a business? There are lots of articles out there on why you should start a business. Why a success magazine, why start a business now? Why start a business? You know, so there are lots of articles out there on why start a business, right? The only thing that you'll find more articles on as far as business owning ownership goes is the top reasons why businesses fail. And this is a reality that basically only one out of every 10 new businesses are going to be, are going to last, are going to be successful. And so even past the first year of them starting. And I think the reason for this is that businesses and individuals who start businesses don't really take on or don't really plan in the beginning and understand why uh, why they're doing what they're doing and why it's going to be successful, what they need to do in order for there to be successful. And that's one of the things that it's overlooked at Zip Realty that we provide a lot of folks is a structure on how to become successful. So there are lots of other, SBA has an entire section on why businesses fail. As a matter of fact, people most people tend to know why businesses fail because so many of them do fail. It's very, it's a lot more difficult to find articles on why businesses succeed, you know, because it's a very, it's a very, uh, it's a very uh, really scale on why they succeed. So let's take a look really quickly. And if you've got a pen and paper, this entire series, it's important to take note. What we're going to be discussing is going to be vital for you. Uh, to be successful here at Zip Realty and interviewing candidates and closing them and bringing them in um, and, and really talking to them on the phone. So, uh, first of all, why do, does a real estate agent get into this business? Well, maybe a real estate agent thought that they had a better idea to start with, right? They had a better idea on how to sell. They had a better idea on how to serve clients. Maybe they uh, th their mom's best friend bought a home and had a really bad experience and they said, you know what, these real estate agents make lots of money and, and I think I could do it better. And so they go out and they get their real estate license. Maybe they wanted autonomy. Maybe they, they decided that they didn't want to punch a clock every day. They didn't want to go to work every day. Maybe they just love real estate. Who knows why they got into the business, but eventually everything boils down to making money. This isn't a hobby. This is something that we need to get paid for. And so ultimately, they may have gotten into the business because they love real estate, but ultimately what they want to do is make money doing something that they love, right? So what's necessary is the next thing I'd like to bring your attention to. What is necessary in order to become a, a, a business owner? What do, you gotta, what do you have to have to be a business owner that makes it in the world of business? Because again, remember, 
these agents are business owners. They are independent contractors who affiliate with brokers. They're not employed by brokers. We can't tell them what to do. They don't tell us what to do. We have a business relationship with independent business owners. So what's necessary for these independent business owners to succeed? Well, first thing they've got to have is a plan. And it's the old adage, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And so a lot of real estate agents fail because they don't have a plan or they're expecting a broker to be an employer and give them a plan and brokers don't do that. Your big large brokers of the world just sends them out. They basically, you hire, you hang your license there. Now they expect you to make a plan. They expect you to go out and help. Now they'll, they'll give you some coaching. They'll give you some teaching, but they don't give you a plan. So, so business owners have to start with a plan. Business owners have to have a goal. They have to have an end in mind. What are they trying to achieve? If they don't have goals, they can't make lots of small goals, and they don't know whether or not they're achieving what they need to achieve to hit their major goal. So business owners have to have goals. Business owners, and this is one of the most important things that most agents don't do that, you'll, that we'll learn in the following videos, how to talk to agents is that they don't necessarily come up with a break even. And what I mean by that is after their, when, when they, at the end of the day, how much money do they need to pay their mortgage? How much money do they need to pay their car payments, to keep their kids in school, to keep food, shelter, clothing? How much money do they have to make in order to break even, right? That is the first thing that any business owner needs because at that point, a business owner can then start to turn towards the final thing that they need to have is profit. And at the end of the day, profit is the key. Profit is the most important part of any business. See, profit is the part that the business owner gets to keep. And these business owners, these real estate agents, they oftentimes confuse split, split being the amount of commission they keep after a real estate act transaction, after they give their broker a portion for that relationship they're affiliated with, they often confuse split with profit. And that is probably the most deadly mistake that agents make. And that's probably the biggest reasons why business, real estate agent businesses fail is because they confuse real estate split, gross commission, with real estate profits, which is what they take home at the end of the day. So in order for a business to, to, to succeed, they need a plan, they need a goal, they need to know what their break even is, and then they need to profit. And profit is after the break even, after all my bills are paid, this is my money to live on, right? And so we're going to teach you in these video series how to determine what profit is. Next, we look at why they fail. Well, they fail pretty much for the opposite reason. They, number one, they could have failed because they had a bad idea in the beginning. You know, they, they just didn't have the right idea and they failed to make changes. Everybody has bad ideas, but a lot of people don't change on the fly. They have bad marketing. They, you know, businesses have to market. If somebody tells you that they're successful just because of word of mouth, that's ridiculous. You've got to market. So we'll learn how to help focus an agent in on what they're doing to market. And if they're not marketing, we'll help them focus on this is why they're not as successful as they'd like to be. And uh, they, they, businesses fail, real estate businesses fail because they didn't have a plan going in. You know, and, and businesses plan most in, fail most importantly and the most obviously because they fail to make a profit. So why is this important? Why is it important why to know, know and understand why businesses fail? Well, people... These real estate agents, or look at it this way, this person who's sitting in front of you represents a business that is failing. If they were successful, if they were having all of their needs met, they would have never agreed to meet with you in the first place. So this is a very important fact to remember. Now, um, so at the end of the day, when you talk to these real estate agents, and when, when we are talking to these businesses, we need to realize that number one, their business, they got into this business because it's something that they enjoy. They maybe wanted a little freedom, but at the end of the day, they need to make money. At some level, they may or may not know what's necessary to be successful in business. So we might have to teach them that in the interview, and you'll learn how to do that. Probably something that they do know or they may not know is that they're failing now. 
they're failing in some way. They're failing to meet what their goals and their aspirations were to get into this business, and they're seeking a life preserver. That's where you come in, and that's where Zip Realty comes in. And they are, uh, they are at the end of the day, before they're willing to make a change, they've got to admit they have a problem. It's kind of like the 12-step process, right, for the Alcoholics Anonymous and other different 12-step processes. The first step is to admit you have a problem. And these agents need to admit they have a problem. So uh, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video series. This is the first in the series, and there's going to be probably three or four more after these, and then we'll continue to add them as we go. But these should get you started, and this is the introductory. Now go ahead and continue to the second video in the process, which we're going to start learning about the 10 questions that we need to ask in every single interview. Okay, thanks so much for listening.